Energy drinks are everywhere. They're loud, fun, and provide that jolt of focus when we're tired. They're also insanely popular. You'd be hard-pressed finding anyone who hasn't tried one. But what's inside your favorite bottle of energy drink? Do you know what it's doing to your body? Let's find out. Hello and welcome to my channel, where we share videos about all things puberty. From topics like this one, to issues such as the effects of pornography on teen boys, or how to handle peer pressure. If you're interested in receiving our weekly video updates, then hit the like button and subscribe. Now let's jump straight in. Most of us don't give a second thought to the ingredient list of your favorite energy drink. All we know is it tastes good and it gives us that buzz we're after. So before you open up that next can of Red Bull, listen up. The main source of energy in energy drinks comes from glucose. However, unlike a can of Coke, these drinks often add in a wide range of puzzling ingredients, most of which we know very little about. We've all heard of caffeine. That's the main culprit in energy drinks. But have you heard of taurine, guarana, or ginseng? They're naturally occurring stimulants, and they're just a few of the chemicals added to help boost energy. These energy drinks are marketed to provide physical and mental stimulation, increasing your energy, improving concentration, and reducing tiredness. For this reason, many teens take energy drinks when partying or to keep them awake for late night studying. But how do energy drinks affect our bodies, emotions, and cognitive skills? Why do energy drinks have such a bad rap amongst parents and health experts? Research has shown that drinking energy drinks can harm young people's physical and mental well-being. But that's not all. Studies have found that the consumption of energy drinks also encourages risky behavior such as alcohol use, dangerous driving, or risky sexual behaviors. So you may want to think twice before taking another sip. In fact, the American Academy of Pediatrics advises that children should not consume energy drinks at all. That's in addition to the World Health Organization warning that they may pose a danger to public health. So what's so unsafe about them? As we already mentioned, most energy drinks contain large amounts of added sugars, but there's also caffeine, vitamins, along with natural stimulants, such as taurine, an amino acid naturally found in fish and meat, guarana, a caffeine-containing plant from the Amazon rainforest, or L-carnitine, a substance that helps our bodies turn fat into energy. If all of these compounds are natural, sure it's safe, right? Well, not exactly. Energy drinks contain much higher concentrations of these sugars, herbals, and vitamins than we would find in nature. Also, when you combine these ingredients with caffeine, their effects may be enhanced. While small quantities of energy drinks can be perfectly safe, high doses of caffeine can lead to caffeine intoxication, triggering anxiety, restlessness, muscle twitching, and sleep problems. Even worse still, drinking more than the recommended amount can lead to a heart rate increase, palpitations, and even cardiac arrest. So why do we enjoy energy drinks so much? Energy drinks are believed to increase brain function, improve your mood, and give you an energy boost. So they may be helping you when you're tired or feeling sleepy. However, since so many health concerns are linked to energy drinks in teenage bodies, you should be super careful when drinking them. Remember, moderation is key. If you found this video helpful, please leave us a like and share it with anyone you may think may be interested in this topic. Until next time, thanks for watching.